Hey guys, Roger Vere here, and I'm going to be doing a review of the Arcos uh, 101 internet tablet. And uh, let's get started. Alright, so uh, let's go ahead and get started with some of the actual device itself and some of the things on it. Um, here we've got a webcam. It's 0 0.3 megapixels, and it is absolutely horrible. Um, I don't know if it's just fraying the application or what it is, but it it's huh, it is not fun to use. Uh, the video comes out pretty blurry. I mean, it has good frame rate, but the video is horrible, and pictures are just grainy and not good for your self-esteem. In other words. Alright, so over here, we've got the volume rocker, we've got the power button, there's no lock screen, uh, so we just got a power button, and uh, when you press it, you can see there, turned on, press it again, turns off, there's a headphone port here, a 3.5mm head jack, and then uh, here we've got a standard USB port, jeez, my fan, sorry, uh, We've got a standard USB port here, and uh, you can plug in wireless mice, keyboard, um, what else, uh, memory sticks. You can also plug in a powered hard drive, Where and this this thing will actually power it. Like, uh, I was at Starbucks the other day doing my work, and my phone was running low on battery. So I actually had this uh, my phone plugged into here, and it was charging via a uh, tablet, which is really cool. Here we've got a USB and there we've got the micro SD card uh, slot thing uh, it supports up to 32 gigs right there so I've got a 16 gigabyte tablet and then an additional 2 gigabytes down there it does not come with an SD card that I got from my phone which I upgraded to 4 gigs so I just decided to put the 2 in here uh, this is one of my favorite things about it, it's got a mini HDMI um, input or output yeah, output, sorry. <laughs> um, and the reason for that is, I mean, you can, any standard television this day, these days has HDMI, so you can go and throw that in, and, um, you know, you can see this on the big screen. And, uh, you know, I mean, I'll be, I'll, I've already ordered one on Amazon, so it'll be here soon. And whenever it gets here, I'll definitely do a review and put that up online for you guys. Um, and there is the power. Uh, port where you connect your thing. Uh, over here, there's a microphone. I think I forgot to mention there. Okay, on the back here, we've got the symbol. You've got two extremely loud speakers here. And then this right here is a kickstand. What you can actually do is you can take it, you can flick it open like that, and have it stand on a position. And that is the hardware. There's really nothing else here, as you can tell. I mean, it's it's pretty blank, and it's a really really light device. 480 grams. That that's really good. 10.1 uh, inch TFT LCD screen. All right. right. So I've had this device for one week now. I bought it uh, last Sunday on the. When was it? When did I buy this? On the. 10th of April um, so you're just uh, I mean I've had it for a week so I've tested out a lot of stuff on it and um, one thing I recommend if you get this tablet is install Launcher Pro it actually makes your screen your screen fluidity really really smooth as you can see there that's really smooth um, I can also show you on my phone here how smooth it is comparatively see there you know what I'm saying so over here uh, I mean very very smooth uh, display um, games run really well uh, let me show you some stuff though I have installed maybe half my pictures onto here uh, for my mom since she likes looking at pictures um, decided to be a good person go ahead and install all of these pictures on here for her uh, let's see here. I mean, there's like tons and tons of pictures. So, um, yeah. Let me go ahead and skip a little ahead here. And I mean, it takes a second to load, but it loads them and it looks really nice. You know, I mean, pretty flashy if you ask me. Um, I mean, here, 
there's a nice web or nice library thing and here like all your different pictures here um, I mean you can like click on the picture there's me last year uh, you know I mean it's nice it's got full touch screen I mean not touch screen full multi-touch so you can like zoom and pinch to zoom and do all that other good stuff um yep that's that uh one cool app is a uh, picture frame and if we let it give it a sec it'll load all the pictures it's a little laggy in the beginning but you can uh since you can double tap a picture I'll bring up the picture alright uh, that's that uh, the music app it's really cool it's got like a cover flow kind of thing on the side here and uh, you can go ahead and select your track here um, that's that. Now the web browsing experience on the Arcos 101 is incredible. Um, yesterday I was stuck at Starbucks for three hours because my dad was at a meeting and he decided to uh, take me with him all the way to Vienna and I was just you know sitting there pretty bored so I decided to go to the Starbucks and I spent my entire afternoon there. Wow. The internet browsing on this is incredible. There are just, uh, I'm uh, using Dolphin Browser HD. Uh, give it a sec. Oh, I'm on Heather's page. Whoops. Um, right, let's go to Google first. And I'll show you Facebook. Uh, so there's Google. Um, and I really like this uh, browser. I would recommend Dolphin Browser HD for a tablet. Certainly, 100%. You really want to use this. I mean, it is extraordinary. Have this propped up on the table with a kickstand or with the built in leg stand. You can just flick and go through your stuff. Like, if I want to check CNN, go ahead and press that. And then in a second, CNN's going to pop up here. I mean, that that's really good. So, that's that. Alright. And then, uh, I mean, like, I love the web browsing experience on this. It's, like, really fluid, and the battery life is incredible. Yeah, it looks like the battery life is going down pretty fast here, but, I mean, I don't know why it does that. Like, I had this with my phone charging on it. Like, it was, it was never turned off. It was always on, and it was on for about three hours yesterday, and I didn't charge it before I left. So, I was already, already at about 75%. And then I went to my grandma's house and spent two hours there with it. And, I mean, when I came home, it was like maybe, what was it? It was like 25% or 20%. I mean, that is really good battery life. Um, and, you know, I mean, I, I watched a couple of videos on YouTube. I mainly did my um, A-Push homework. So, I mean, I was basically on Wikipedia the whole time. And, uh, let's see, what else is there? Um, yep, that's that. Next, uh, I'm going to show you some apps here. Uh, this one's called Google Earth. I mean, I'm sure all of you guys are familiar with this, with the uh, desktop version. And I think there's an iPod version, I'm not 100% sure. And I was uh, looking around here. So let me go ahead and zoom out. You can use pinch to zoom here. And <coughs> let me go ahead and uh, make this a little straight. So we can go ahead and zoom in. You know, I'm going to go to the uh, a mountain area. Uh, I can show you some neat stuff there. Let's see, is this India? Yeah, there it is. There it is. Haven't been there in forever. Alright. So there is that. Let me zoom in here. Alright. And now you're about to see some pretty awesome magic. Okay, so now I'm on look around mood. And look at that. I love this. It's got me little what what did I just do? I, I don't know. What the heck? Wasn't the train showing up? No. Oh, oops. Sorry, still getting used to this. Alright, 
Let me zoom in here a lot. Alright, now let me turn this on. That should... Yeah, I'm not close enough for some reason. There you go. There. I mean, yeah, that should do it. There you go. As you can see, I mean, it. you can kind of see the 3D architecture right there. And basically has that 3D effect that you get on computers. And really, not, not much lag. I mean, it's bearable. Um, let me go ahead and press that. Get off look at mode. And uh, that is that. I mean, this is not a full app review. This is just, I'm just showing you what uh, this device is capable of. Uh, next, I'm going to show you a really cool app, actually. It's called Maple Paint. And so that, that was, see, that's really fast. It's got a good 1 gigahertz processor. Um, sorry. Um, it's got a plain paper. Flip this to its side. Um, this is called Maple Paint. And uh, I'm sure you've heard it. Uh, people complain that, you know, the buttons are too small. Well, this is more of a tablet kind of application, in my opinion, uh, than a regular uh, Android phone. Phone thing. Uh, so here you can like you know draw what you want, like I don't know a star, smiley face. I mean you can see the touch screen is really fluid, and it does everything well. Um, there's sorry that. guys, my uh, memory I ran out of memory there, so I just transferred all my stuff there. So, but that's uh, basically it. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later.